Hello, my fellow guardians. This is Molucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Here in Season of the Seraph Week 3, which means new challenges and a continuation of our quest. So if you check out our quest, the step is step 19 out of 54. Uh, 54? Yeah. And we need to speak to Clovis at the Exoframe in the helm. But before that, I'm going to quickly go over the seasonal challenges for this week. We got more than a weapon 3, which we are going to complete this, uh, this episode, of course. We got the Seraph Shield 1, complete exotic mission operations, Sheriff Shield to earn Revision 0 exotic pulse rifle. So there is an exotic mission in the game right now oh that is interesting but that's gonna be for the next episode probably in the cold light of the sun defeat combatants with solar or stasis damage and a heist battleground a rapid loadout defeat targets with pulse rifles trace rifles bonus progress for defeating guardians kind of makes sense that there is um an exotic pulse rifle that we get uh well a challenge for pulse rifle kills as well, on Europa, earned progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. I usually do the public events. It's a little bit faster than lost sectors, I find. Uh, we got Power Broke, reach power level 1580, which I already did. Close range calibration, uh, sidearm, submachine guns, shotguns, glaives, and swords on Europa. So, both on Europa. I kind of need to do the Cosmo Drone from last week still. Uh, we got the Prime Ball Entourage, defeat taken in Gambit, earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. Holy crap, I just spent last week trying to finish off Gambit for the rest of the season, and we get a new uh, challenge to go into Gambit. So not really a fan of that. Defeat Guardians in Team Scorch, charge detonation in midair on the surface, air earns a bonus progress. Meaning that if we look at destinations and we look at Crucible... Uh, Team Scorched is active this week, so if you want to do this challenge, uh, it's best to actually just go in there. It's actually a pretty straightforward uh, quest, like getting 50 kills is really... It was 50 kills, yeah, 40 kills, so it's really, really fast. And an ultimate champion, defeat champions at any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher, earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers. So actually, it's pretty straightforward, but this one is a, is a, is a happy... It's a happy new one. I'm looking forward. Operation Setter of Shield. Okay, that's the seasonal challenge for this week, guys. The uh, the the event is still active, of course. The let's quickly check. Uh, quests. Yeah, there we go. So dawning is still active. Still 13 days left, so we still have plenty of time to get those last four achievements in. And we need to talk to Mr. Exo, Mr. Braytech prototype here. Guardian. You'll be pleased to hear that Elizabeth has finally come around to our way of thinking, as I knew she would. Okay. She will assist your infiltration of the orbital station, a feat made possible now that I have decrypted the codes for the launch pods. Are we going into space? Unfortunately, despite the reintegration of both the Malahayati and Charlemagne submines, Rasputin remains incapable of self-restoration. Uh, that's not good news. There's simply too much missing code for its internal algorithm to fill in the rest on its own. We require more data. And I will get Infiltrate it. Infiltrate the vaults and retrieve it. The more data you obtain, the faster Rasputin's protocols can facilitate its reconstruction. Do not tarry. You can be assured that our enemies won't. Okay, let's accept the quests. And see what we need to do. And spend Seraph keys codes to unlock a Seraph chest. So we're gonna basically need to go into. Um, come on, give me destinations. We just need to go into Heist Battlegrounds uh, to actually spend 500 Seraph keys to open a bonus chest. I should have enough, I think. Can I get inventory, please? Seraph key codes. Where are they? 800 so yeah i can instantly go in i don't need to actually farm up a couple so let's launch heist battleground and see where we end up because it is a new week and it is possible that we get a new location all right guardian this is a and it is and the grab. moon we already smash saw this one so i'm gonna grab run through this mine. one and, and check out the next step the tale. Is the city this unlock week? And speak with Elsie Bray. Oh, the, the hollow projector in the helm. 
I've been reviewing the data from your previous infiltrations of the launch facility, as well as schematics of the Seraph station. Here's where we're at. Anna can remotely inject malicious code into the launch pods. So hack that it. will allow you to dock at the Seraph station without drawing fire from its defense systems. Okay. We only have one window of opportunity to do this before Hal Salvation figures out what we're up to. No room for error. So I can't die. Once you're aboard the station, I'll guide you to the Warmind Integration Core. There, we'll upload a virus into its system. Wait, The virus what? will hold open a back door to the Seraph Station's network. We can remotely transfer control of the station to Rasputin once he's ready. We have no idea what the Hive or how Salvation have done to the station, so we'll need to think on our feet and act quickly. But that's what you're best at. I have a feeling that somebody else is gonna take control of the station if we actually... set it open? Like, make a backport to be able to go in there? Ooh... The Hidden Shape Quest. That is, that is for uh, the next... Complete Exotic Mission Operation Share of Shields on any difficulty. Seriously, I'm gonna need to do this one to actually complete it. Uh, this this kind of sucks. Well, I guess I'm gonna uh, kind of cut it out here and do this quest uh, in a different recording and then come back, I guess, after this quest is done and see what the rest of the, the quest is. Fallen. First those scavengers sully my facilities on Europa, and now they're scurrying aboard the Seraph station. Unacceptable. Who knows what kind of havoc they might wreak. The technology their splicers could damage or destroy. I will see those vermin exterminated and the Warsats return to our control. Okay, our First, control. we must finish reconstructing Rasputin. At present, it is in no condition to be uploaded to the Warsat network. Continue retrieving submine data for reintegration. In the meantime, I will search for a more expedient way to restore Rasputin. Once again, it falls to me to act as humanity's savior. <laughs> All right, let's uh, pick up the Seraphic Umbral Energy. And then we got the quest here, Revision Zero. This weapon pattern can be extracted. All right, and then for the um, the other quest we basically have uh, is going to be for next week, I think. More than a weapon. So, with the virus successfully installed aboard the service station, all that remains is to finish rebuilding Rasputin so he can be uploaded to the Warset network. However, only supplement submine data remains. Clovis will contact you once he has an update on accelerated... Uh, accelerating the restoration process. This quick uh, quest will process at the next weekly reset. So yeah, basically talking back to Clovis after the exotic mission is what reset. Well, is basically the last step for this week. We do have an interaction here, which My we are going to look at. My brother to regale our people's children with the most fantastic stories. Twin kestrels who shared one heart and led a flock of birds against an unstoppable storm. A dragon born into the palm of a maiden's hand, but one day grew so large that it devoured the entire world. Game of Thrones? He spun tales about the Elixni, too. Weavers who transformed into wolves. Dancers who became devils. You're baiting me. It won't work. I've seen what your influence does. Mizrax thinks he can make peace with the last city. His daughter tells stories like your Aldrin. And the world is better for them. Aren't you tired, Aramis? I am. Now you're wasting my time. All people like you and I have is time. I spend mine thinking about everything I've lost. And what I'd give to get it back. You wonder the same. Do not presume to know my mind. You named your house Salvation. Like something straight out of Aldrin stories. Ido's stories. <sighs> we both want the best for the future. But we've pretended to be people we're not for so long that we've forgotten what else we are. Not just a queen. Not just a Kel. A sister. A mother. Aramis? Are you there? Ooh. 
Ooh, somebody's trying to bring them to our side. Oh, hell yes, guys. But yeah, that's going to be it for more than a weapon quest. In the next episode, we are, of course, are going to make our walkthrough, which we just recorded. And I do have to say, it's going to be... It's going to be over an hour. Um, I've been to zones where I should not been, and I've explored, I think, almost everything. There's rooms I still need to figure out how to open. It's... It's one hell of an exotic mission, guys. Like, it is one hell of an exotic mission. But I'm gonna wrap up this episode here and start working on the quest for the exotic mission because I still don't have the weapon yet. The quest is actually ex eight steps and the second, uh, the first step is actually go into the mission. And then we still have like six steps left before we have the weapon. So like I said, I'm gonna wrap it up here and work on my exotic weapon quest. If you wanna see more of my let's play here or my quest progression here in Destiny 2, or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.